The Formula E car is a single make specification series, which is something we see quite commonly in motorsport. However, there is a slight difference with the Formula E series. As much as every team runs exactly the same chassis and the same powertrain, it's down to the teams to then write the code that controls the electric motor and how that all works around the track. And this is very much where the teams are starting to differentiate themselves in terms of performance. The teams at the very front of the grid are the ones that we see at the top of the Constructors' Championships, who also have quite large manufacturer support, are finding that they've got far better code to manage the power unit during the race, to manage the power and the energy usage. Teams further down the back of the grid who have lesser resources, therefore have slightly uh, more problems with developing the code to be as complex uh, and as effective as the top teams. So we will see the grid start to stretch out as the series develops. Uh, eventually some of these teams will start to catch up, particularly when they bring in other manufacturers to provide some of these systems uh, into season two. So if someone's going to produce you a new uh, power control unit, a new e-motor for season two, they'll also be able to assist you in the code uh, or assist the team in developing the code for these. So you may find that some of these teams further down the grid that are struggling perhaps with a single specification, when they start to bring other manufacturers on board to provide other parts for the car, they can actually make a step in performance because they're getting greater technical support than they currently get with the existing setup.